juice is going to be. I think we should go to Cape Cod. I've been wanting to go there for ages. That sounds like fun. Absolutely. What about if we go sailing on each other? Where do you want to go? Martha's Vineyard? Yes! All right, cheers. Let's do it. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> You guys are gonna love it. Changing. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good way to see Cape Cod. Yeah. yeah, we get that often. Yeah. It's the best what, experience. What year is this plane? This aircraft is a replica of a mid 30s. It's called a Waco YMF5. The airfield has been here since 1929, and we're just trying to kind of continue the barnstorming type activity and antique aviation. The amount of lakes and ponds is something that people usually catch their attention. The marshes is something that you can't experience anyway but from the sky, because you can take a boat, but you can't go through the marsh, and seeing it at eye level isn't the same as seeing it from above. So, yeah. I've always wanted to like fly as a superhero power, so it's like pretty much the coolest thing. <laughs> <laughs> My dreams have been like accomplished, Jack. Bucket list type item, yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. I've been driving dune tours, my family, for 73 years. Wow. Yeah. I'm about to take you to what I call the outback of Provincetown. We have 4,000 acres of sand dunes, beaches, and forest land that are all part of the Cape Cod National Seashore. It's a protected coastline. It's really cool. There's quite a lot of history out here, a lot of stories, and we proud ourselves on taking generations of families out here. And as we drove through there, you saw how pristine the land was, you know, and, and those interesting little dune shacks. We're at the very easternmost point of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I didn't know Massachusetts looked like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the sand dunes here. Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. 
in the bag more of us. Thanks. <laughs> we have a focus on local ingredients. We have eight different beers on tap right now. We try and do a wide variety and just sort of cater to everyone. We put a handful of grape leaves from the island in every batch. Goes in with our grain build. We have a beer coming out called Shark Bite. Uh, yeah. which is a jalapeno cucumber lager. Oh wow. my God. We actually just brewed an oyster stout. We uh, partnered with a local sustainably harvested oyster farm here on the island. They bring in a whole bushel for us. You know, we basically take them in the back, shuck them right there on site, and uh, you know, we put them basically in a big tea bag. And they came in yesterday. They showed our brewer how to shuck. He showed them how to brew. Oh, wow. And we actually have a beer with, you know, a bag full of oysters basically flavoring it. Oh, that's super unique. Yeah, that's that's awesome. awesome. Sounds so Goodness. delicious. This is great, guys. I love this brewery. Oh my god. Yeah. Could be how much local stuff they use. Right? Yeah, it's a farm table. I wasn't expecting that. All right. So what do you think, guys? We should probably get out of here. Yeah, yeah? sounds cheers. good. Let's do it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, guys. Well, my dad started it like 10 years ago. There was just so much business to so just like keep it local. What's and about your guys' oyster farm and like the other oyster farms? So everything here is on the bottom. So like our oysters look way different. Ours are like green from the algae and eelgrass and mud and stuff. And that just kind of dictates the flavor. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So what was your favorite part? Cape Cod. I love Nantucket. Everything's just so idyllic. It's really relaxing here. Yeah, it's super great. It's just a dream come true, you guys. The rest of our life. Next year again? <laughs> yeah. The rest of our life.